Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm recording quite late at night now. I've been to the gym. I've recently seen that Spotify have now brought out their Spotify Wrapped of 2023. That's what we're going to do in this short video. I do it every year. Just always interesting to see what I've been listening to and uh, you know all the stats throughout the year. So that is what we're going to do now. We're going to see kind of like top songs, top bands, what I've listened to new, all that kind of stuff. Here we go. As soon as it decides to load. I can't pretend. I do this every time. Every time I do this kind of video, the volume is always ridiculously loud and always scares the shit out of me. Now we've got it done correctly, let's do this. So it's Kingdom of Giants, I think? Okay, 2023 was a feast for your ears. I listened to 29 genres, which I think is down from last year, I'm not too sure. Not really a lot, I, I was expecting a lot more than that. Nice. Okay, top's gonna be metalcore. There might be a bit of deathcore in there. I think pop's gonna be in there, like just having it on randomly. Maybe some like electronica kind of stuff, and then just kind of like alternative rock metal. They're my top five. I think it's gonna have. Nice sandwich. Okay. Metalcore. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. We got metalcore at the top, which was always going to happen. Alternative metal, which is what I said. Pop punk. I said there was going to be some like pop like elements in there. American metalcore standard, and then gymcore. That's always in there for me. I could never tell you what song gymcore is or what song is in gym <laughs> in gymcore as a genre. There's nothing which is standing out like ridiculously crazy. There, it's pretty much exactly what I thought it would be. Bad motionless and white. Okay, this year you're missing two places. So the bands I listen to at like Sleep Token, Bear Tooth and Motionless and White, people there are far more likely to be fans of. Me and my Pittsburgh USA buddies, you know, we, we know what it's all about. It's basically saying you don't live there, but if you did, we'd understand. That, that's basically what this kind of stat's about. You played 1,813 songs in 2023. That doesn't sound like that much, but then that's not also on how many times you've played them either, which I think would be like way more. What is the one which is going to be really connected? What song is going to be on there? It's going to be Emotionless and White song, I think, unless it's the one playing right now, but I don't, I don't think it is. Oh, yeah, no, it is. Okay, yeah, it is Sleep Token. The summoning. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. You played it 35 times this year, starting on the 17th of January, and it still sounds perfect, and it still does sound perfect. That's 100% correct. That's crazy to think that's the most played song I've, I've listened to. That's That's crazy. I think we're going to see this album come up a lot, actually. Your top songs. <laughs> wow, okay. I mean, if that doesn't sum up uh, that <laughs> what album and what band I really enjoyed this year, I don't know what does. Nice to see Remember Me as well by Currents. That's an absolute sick song so far. Okay, not much variety. I'm, I'm clearly just like a very plain, simple guy. <laughs> Your top songs in 2023. No. Okay, I'm going to look at the playlist later on. That's cool. 35,753 minutes. That's 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 pretty cool. Happy with that. 24 days non-stop. I'm not surprised. Second of November, 346. Bloody hell, you peaked on 2nd of November with 346 minutes and you were in the top 9% of listeners worldwide. What was I doing on the 2nd of November? I have no idea. Okay, 708 artists. That's pretty cool. And obviously it's going to speak token. Yeah, 100%. Top 4% fan. <laughs> Uh, okay, so now it's top artists. So Sleep Token, Electric Callboy, Motionless in White, uh, Currents maybe, and I think Beartooth would be up there as well if uh, Spotify took in stats from um, like November time. I can't remember when they had the cutoff point, but um, I definitely been listening to a lot more Beartooth recently. Anyway, let's let's see. Sleep Token number one. Keep listening. Month May. Yes. Okay. Cool. Electric Cool Boy, keep listening month June. Okay, fair enough. That's when um, every time we touch came out. Bad Omens, yes, okay. Motion of someone. There's two. 
Especially as like Sleep Token, obviously the album's amazing, so that's always going to be there. Electric Callboy, my newfound love, so they're always obviously going to be there. Bad Omens, like I've been enjoying their more like not so recent stuff as well. I've been going back into their old stuff. Motionless and White, always going to be there. And Beartooth with their newest album, The Surface, that makes a lot of sense. So yeah, cool. Once again, fairly straightforward. Ah, this is confusing. What's this going to be? Hey everybody, what's up? Oh. This is Nico and Kevin from Electric Cowboy and we were just thinking about how cool this year was. We traveled so many awesome countries this with is our weird. This tour. Yeah. Also, we had a great festival season. I never yeah. realized yeah. how short right it was. Right now we are in our <laughs> brand new studio to write a brand new album for you guys and we wanted to say thank you for all your support and let's get hyped together for 2024. See you. Let's get hyped for 2024, that's cool. I'm having more fun just figuring out the music. That is exactly what it is. When it comes to your listening, you're loyal and devoted. You like to focus on one genre, sometimes while wearing a monocle. I didn't really see myself as a massive gatekeeper of music, but I think I'm very stubborn and set in my ways. So I always kind of listen to the same music, same songs, same bands. It takes a lot for a different band to kind of pique my interest. And once I have done, then I'm, I'm non-stop about them. For example, Sleep Token and Electric Cowboy. If you'd asked me about a year, two years ago who they were, I'd be like, oh, I have no idea. And I'd have shown no interest. I've tried this year to try and like be more open to different types of music, but clearly 29 genres, it's, dead. <laughs> it's still all fairly the same. That was fun. Same time next year, of course. Okay, cool, cool. I guess I could actually quickly go through the uh, playlist of like all my top songs. Top songs of 2023, okay. The Summoning, Granite, Pump It, Aqua Regis, remember which we've already seen. Ghost of Me by Make Them Suffer, makes a lot of sense. Spaceman's up there, Just Pretend. Literally, it's just constant sleep token, electric cool boy, bad omens. You can see why they these bands with the top. Black Hole still up there, I Prevail still up there. Without a Whisper by Invent Animate. That's always a good shout. That was a sick song I got into this year. Left Behind, Plotting You. Don't remember listening to that too much, but okay. Trying to pick out anything which is like really out there, but most of it is just the same stuff, same bands. Red Fur by Van and Mayer. I, I literally think I listened to that just to, cause of, for, for a video. Uh, Nightmare, I'm surprised. Okay, cool. Listen to Nightmare more than I listen to Every Time We Touch. That's mad. Bite Your Tongue's come up a lot, yeah. And a lot of Make Them Suffer stuff as well. Lost by Linkin Park. Um, yeah, there we go. Baba Yaga, Slaughter to Prevail. It's, it's getting up there, climbing the ranks. And Dial Tone, Catch Your Breath. That was a random like, trend, wasn't it? Where that was just everywhere. Uh, Hurricane, yeah, that's come on a couple of times. Castaway hasn't been on, hasn't been out for too long, so that's pretty cool. That's up there. Watch the world burn by Falling in Reverse. I don't feel like I've listened to that much. The Void by Spirit Box, nice to see that. Dayseeker, yeah, which is a band I haven't really truly gotten into, but whenever they're on, I just I play them. There we go. There is Spotify Wrapped for 2023. Wasn't too surprising. It's still the same kind of stuff I listen to every year but um, not so surprising as well what bands have made a massive impact on this year and on my year personally as well. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video real soon. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Here we go. <laughs> as soon as it decides to load.